Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing management of epithelial ingrowth post LASIK surgery. So this is a patient who has undergone trauma and has developed epithelial ingrowth. He has undergone LASIK surgery elsewhere 15 years ago. And this trauma is 3 months old and now we are planning to take care of this epithelial ingrowth. So we have taken up into the LASIK OR and what we are doing here is first we are delineating the flap which was created 15 years ago. So we are first making sure that we have all the flap margins so that we don't un end up tearing this old very adherent flap. And then we are gently just going to dissect and lift up this flap. So here I'm cleaning up because I don't want these epithelial cells to get seeded into elsewhere of this LASIK flap. So once we have done that, we are just lifting it up and reflecting the flap back. And then we are using a hockey stick instrument to debride all of these epithelial cells. So epithelial ingrowth is nothing but the epithelial cells go inside the LASIK interface and cause blurring of vision when they start encroaching the pupillary border. So it is important that we clean them up very nicely so that they don't recur as they have a tendency to recur back in these patients. So here I'm using a hockey stick and making sure that we get rid of all of these epithelial cells on the stromal side first. It is also very important to take care of the underside of the flap. So we have reflected the flap here and again gently supporting the flap with the McPherson's forceps. We are debriding all of these seeded epithelial cells from the flap as well. We can see here that because of the trauma there is a small flap tear next to the hinge. So we need to clean this up very nicely. Again now after cleaning up the epithelial cells it is also important to remove the surrounding healthy epithelium so we do not have seeding of these epithelial cells again. So this is something uh, which can help in preventing recurrences. So what I'm doing here is I'm going ahead and removing the surrounding epithelium and then making sure our flap is nice and clean with no epithelial seeding. And then I'm using a medicinal sponge soaked with mitomycin C 0.02% and keeping it on the corneal surface, the stromal surface for a period of one minute. It. This also helps in preventing recurrences of these epithelial ingrowth. It is very important that we wash off this mitomycin C thoroughly with 40 cc of water. So we are washing this mitomycin C off and once we have done that then we are placing the flap back in position and once I have placed the flap back in position I am also removing the epithelium on top of the flap again to prevent recurrences. So here especially in the area where the flap was cut and also from the area when the cells got seeded that is inferiorly for this patient. So I am sitting superiorly so this is the surgeon's view and we inferiorly is where the epithelial ingrowth was there. So I am making sure we remove the epithelium from the top of the flap and also surrounding on, uh, on the cornea. And then we wash off this uh, very uh, thoroughly the interface and gently and slowly we replace the flap back in position, iron it out and then leave it for a period of two minutes to let it stick back in position. And then after two minutes, once we have a nicely opposed dry flap, we paste a bandage contact lens and uh, instill uh, steroid as well as antibiotic eye drop. And this is just the first day of surgery. We can see that's a clear cornea. Thank you for your attention.